Now Cynthia and I are in a terrible spot. I come to this island, I come to the program to get some answers, find out my animal spirit. Yeah, let me help you out on the whole animal spirit thing. It's gonna be awesome. It always is. It's like if you go to a tarot card reader for past lives, you're always Dave. something cool, like a king or a gunfighter. No one ever finds out that they were like a shopkeeper or an asshole. Is this hilarious to you? Because it's not to me. Tell you what, if I get kicked off this island, I'm gonna blame all of you. And I can't believe I let the two of you derail me. We derailed you? That's correct. If you kept a closer eye on Trudy, she wouldn't have strayed so far from the pack, all right? She's not a dog, Jason. Yeah, well, listen, she's been very selfish. She hasn't been a very good teammate, I can tell you that. No, 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 no. Look, I made promises, I let her down. You don't yeah. know the ins and outs of our relationship. Is that what it is? It's a relationship. It's been two weeks, okay? All right? It's not, not a relationship. It's more like an antibiotic cycle, all right? She should be very happy that she's even here. You're a good guy. You brought her to this island. She shouldn't be running off. She should be doing everything that she can, bending over backwards to make you happy. Don't blame this on Shane. You brought this on yourself. I don't need to hear it from you, okay? It's half your fault. Half his fault, half Trudy's fault, half your fault. Me? Yeah, with the whole canoe scheme, all right? You put me and my wife in a very extreme situation, put tension on the relationship. Your wife left you because you were suffocating her, and now you're suffocating me, and you're suffocating Shane, too. Yeah, don't suffocate me, man. A grown woman literally jumped into shark-infested waters and did a distance swim that she had no way to train for instead of staying in the dry canoe with you. Look in the mirror. Okay, Joseph Cecil Tanzini, with a monsoon of respect, I don't think you're in a position to be telling anyone to look in the mirror when it comes to relationships. You're not Mr. I try so hard at my relationship, okay? So let's, let's go, glass house. Glass, I'm me glass house, you glass house. You're the glass house. Talk to me about relationships. You got a woman who adores you. She'd do anything for you. You have a real partner in life. And what does she want from you? Take me to the waterfall. But no, you can't take her. Because you had some overstimulated snorkeling experience. You think, you think when your marriage is over that you're going to find somebody that just caters to you no matter what, that you're not going to have to work at it? It's going to be like psyched to go to Applebee's with you every Friday night and hear the same football stories about how you rocked in high school? I did rock in high school football. You want to check tape? But whoever that person is, you have to listen to their stories, too, or they're not going to go to Applebee's with you. You're not going to have someone to go to Applebee's with. You'll be sitting by yourself eventually at Applebee's all alone. And who wants to go to Applebee's by themselves? You know what? If anyone should be mad here, guys, it should be me. I am having a real fight with my wife, OK? And it's not fun feeling. Look at I'm talking in circles. I'm on an island. I'm getting island fever now. I'm starting to lose my mind. This is an early sign of things to come. What we need to do now is get focused. And stop pointing fingers. You're a problem. You're a real, real problem.